Okay, let's talk about property development. Um, what what are your plans there? Obviously, there are a lot of property projects yeah. that have been suspended in light of this environment. Well, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we've got two projects that we uh, we're running with at the beginning of the year. One is Plum Tree, which is 708 stands, uh, and the other mm -hmm. one is Bite Bridge, comprising of 150 stands. Uh, Plum Tree, we had got some way uh, in uh, incurring uh, costs, uh, but the contractors then started uh, asking for US dollars. US dollars. Uh, yes. When multi currents came, uh, when the mono currents came in, uh, the numbers were also very significant. So we thought, no, tactically, let's uh, suspend this. Let's review uh, the pricing and also the market because um, once your prices increase, that has got an impact on your off takers. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are in that stage where we are reviewing the luxury project. We do want to complete it, uh, but we want to complete it uh, when it makes sense for us to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as Bite Bridge is concerned, uh, we are currently um, mobilizing a contractor on site. Uh, the contractor will put up uh, show houses, mm -hmm. um, and once those show houses have been constructed, we will then have again to reassess the market uh, to see whether there will be uptake uh, for that uh, type of construction. Uh, so I think one has to be very careful in this environment uh, and ensure that you put up properties uh, that will be able to find takers in the market. Mm -hmm. Generally, as far as property is concerned, we're still looking around for land banks. Land banks. Uh, we would like to put a lot more properties onto the market uh, and we're discussing um, possibilities with a number of landowners okay. as and when we were successful. Certainly we, uh, okay. the and market. what's the status now currently around your mortgage lending? We continue to lend, mm -hmm. um, uh, but the difficulty you face obviously is that um, uh, you know costs are very high in terms of construction mm -hmm. and sellers of property have sort of withdrawn from the market at the moment. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are waiting for this uh, current situation to settle down before they consider whether to put their properties back onto the market. Sure. And then um, on your in insurance business, I mean, you've been talking about Mozambique for a yes, very long time now. Right. What are your plans, or are you going to just, you know, leave Mozambique and focus elsewhere? Yeah. This is our insurance business you're talking yeah. about. Yes, we're still very excited about the prospects that we see in the region. Uh, we still do write business from the region uh, uh, at the moment. We're writing it from home. Uh, our markets cover Mozambique, Tanzania, Kenya, uh, Zambia. Namibia and so on um, and the reason we thought about offshoring uh, the entity was simply because of the current risk that we were facing. Mm -hmm. um, our retrocessionaires were getting somewhat worried about our capacity to be able uh, to pay our claims in foreign yeah. currency. Uh, yeah. So we're still looking at uh, offshoring uh, the operation to either Botswana or Mauritius. Mm -hmm. Currently we're speaking to a private equity firm in Botswana that is indicated appetite uh, to assist with the capital that is required in the uh, form of uh, US dollars, two million uh, that would need to set up that operation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we were successful in raising that capital, we certainly would be uh, able to set up the operation. But with all this talk about Mozambique, I mean, you're not the only company here that's there. Sure. But, but so far, no one has registered successes in that market. I mean, it's just like a story that you're trying to, <laughs> to sell well, to us. I, I, I think it's a profitable market. If you look at what's happening on the uh, investment side, uh, big coal mines, uh, Mine, development, yeah. uh, agriculture is uh, improved, uh, tourism is booming. Uh, so there are opportunities in uh, you know, uh, our, our neighbor. And um, you know, it will be remiss of us not to exploit those opportunities, given 